My name is Christopher DeSanto. I'm the owner of Dream Toys Auto Customs in New York. Been in business for 14 years. We specialize in high-end vehicle customization. At the heart of our business is how personal we are with all of our clients. Our attitude is never say no. And we literally never say no. It's the new Alpine 10 inch head unit. It's installed in a 2014 Chevy Silverado with a Bose system. When we ordered this unit for the client, we asked Alpine if it was compatible and we were told via email yes. It was compatible with all trim levels. When the unit arrived, on the first page of the instruction manual, it said not compatible with Bose systems. So we called our rep, who was as equally as disappointed as we were. Then we called Alpine, and then we called iDatalink, the company that makes the interface module. We were told it was not compatible for various reasons. But because we never let our clients down, we installed the unit, and we worked through to get it to work. All of the vehicle's factory systems have been retained, and it was no simple task. At this point right now, I'm the only person in the world that has changed the radio in this truck and retained the lights in the steering wheel. That information should be priceless, but it's not. Because there's not much respect from the manufacturers. Years ago, companies like eBay, they would sell products like this. Alpine and other manufacturers would jump all over the sellers. They'd purchase the units, they'd track down the store, and they'd tear up their contracts. About a month ago, I got a letter from Alpine stating that they were sorry, but they're now selling units on Amazon. So now, as I struggle to keep my business alive and my men employed, I deal with yet another company selling direct to Amazon. Amazon is the devil to a small business owner like me. A guy that has never worked less than 12 hours in one day in the 14 years I've been in business. A few years ago, I broke my neck and I had spinal fusion on a Friday, but I was back to work on Monday. Not because I wanted to be, but because I had no choice. I have a client right now who's a US official. He's out on one leave paid vacation. He had one disc fused. I had several. One year paid vacation to recover from a surgery that I took one weekend to recover from. I'm not complaining. I never complain. Just be really nice to have some appreciation from the manufacturers. Anything whatsoever. Right now, the fact that Alpine's selling on Amazon is not the worst thing in the world. I figure some people are going to buy these units. They're going to have some trouble installing them. Maybe they'll end up in my shops and other shops like mine. And we'll lose the initial sale. Not that we get rich off of selling the product, but we like to sell things. We like to deal with people. That's why we're in business. We like to educate our clients on their purchases. Then we like to teach them how the product works so they don't leave with a $3,500 radio and no understanding of all its features. But you see, before Alpine decided they were going to cut a deal with the devil, Amazon, they leaked installation videos on units like this one. See, Alpine has what's called a dealer portal, and it used to be necessary to sign in, give all your identification, to watch videos they were geared towards helping installers like my men and myself put these units in. But you no longer have to sign in. You can just go right to YouTube 
and you can get all the information you want. So why would you end up in a store like mine now? You can go right on Amazon, buy the unit, and go right on YouTube and watch how to install it. So the best I can hope for now is that you have a problem and you have to come here and then I have to solve it. But are you going to be happy when you come in my store? No. Because you've already spent the money, you've already watched the video and you expect it to work. So now I'll end up giving free demonstrations to people who are upset. I'll spend my days answering questions about units that I haven't installed and I'll attempt to bill for that and I'll look like the bad guy. It's what companies like Alpine are doing to small businesses like mine. See guys like me, we're not the corporate monster, we're not the big box store. We don't go out of business and stiff companies like Alpine and others with inventory bills. See all my bills are paid, I don't owe anybody anything. But I also don't drive home to a mansion. It took me two 15 hour days to figure out how to get this unit to work in this vehicle because of a mistake that an Alpine rep made. And I could have called the client and I could have told him that it wasn't possible and it wasn't going to happen. But I didn't. The client has no clue what I've gone through. My BMW is parked in their driveway right now. They have the keys to it so they can use it if need be. While I keep this truck here and I make sure that everything works perfectly. With zero tech support, zero help from anybody except my men, my loyal men. See, loyalty means something to a small business owner like myself. I tend to think people at Alpine forget where they came from. You see, the gentleman, who I won't even name in this video, was my hero when I was a kid. He worked for Alpine, he designed some amazing cars, and I followed him. And now he's behind what Alpine is calling their new project, the Restyle Project. He's behind that. He's the head of it. He's making <clears throat> Alpine tons of money, I'm sure, and robbing it from the guys that supported him and his company and his career along the way. I don't know if anybody cares but I do. See, there was a time when you could figure out how to do something like this, figure out how to retain those lights in the steering wheel which work on can data, and you'd go home at night and you'd feel like a hero. Now, the only thing it does, it helps me sleep a little better at night knowing that I solved a problem for a client that they never even knew existed. So I guess I'm working for pride. I guess that's it. Hopefully, when you guys are done at Alpine and all you other manufacturers selling out, you remember shops like mine. We built you up to where you are and you've spit in our face. And it's heartbreaking. And in 14 years in business, I've never wanted to do anything but what I do. I eat, sleep, and breathe this business. I've sacrificed my entire life for this business. And I never complain, not to anybody. I'm the personable business owner. I'm the guy that people show up to because they want luxury items in their vehicles. And I do everything I can to make that affordable to them. But because of the way I sell and because of my dedication to my clients, I'm also the guy that people come to when they have a problem. You know, last week a woman came here because her Alpine radio froze up. So instead of just telling her to hit the reset button, I did it for her. And then I put all her settings back. And then I made sure that her radio still paired with her Bluetooth phone, which it didn't. So I repaired it for her. Then the woman broke down crying and told me that her best friend had died the week before. So with two clients waiting for me in my showroom, I ran out of her car, asked them to give me a moment, 
And I went back and I held her hand, hugged her, listened to her story, and told her if she ever needed anything, she knew I was there for her. Because that's what small personable business owners do. They're there for their clients. Alpine, the bigger you've grown, the further detached you've become from the people that put you where you are and the end users of your products. So when you want to show me research on a piece of paper that tells you that a majority of people are buying on the internet and that it would be a mistake for you not to sell, I can't say that I necessarily disagree with you because you're obviously the ones that did the research. But I can promise you this, it's going to blow up in your face. It's not going to make you money. It's going to cause a lot of headaches. Because a guy like me, who's been doing this for 14 years, a guy like me, a professional, I call a tech support line maybe once per year. Maybe. I'm the guy that people call when they have problems. I'm not the guy that puts my problems on other people's laps. But when you have people installing units like this, who are they going to call when they have a problem? I asked that question to First Tech, and they said they want nothing to do with it. So that one time a year when I have a question, and I call Alpine, am I going to get through? Or is the average consumer do-it-yourselfer going to be tying up your lines with questions because they bought this unit thinking, plug and play, no big deal? Where's your pride? Where's your thankfulness? That's my pride. That's my business. And I'll never forget where I came from.